Hey everybody, welcome to our on-demand lower body boot camp workout here. Let's get started, let's jog it on out. So this is gonna be a short and sweet workout, right around 20-ish minutes long. So it'll definitely give you a really good burn. Let's go ahead and go into some jumping jacks. Jack it out, get the blood flowing, get the heart pumping. And of course, don't forget to breathe. Get up ready to do some booty crunching here today. All right, let's go back to some high knees. Way up, way up, way up. Looking good. And I'll take it back to some jacks again. Jack it on out. It won't be long before you're all sweating here a little bit. I can feel it. Let's go to some butt shakers. So the butt shakers, we're stretching out your quads. Trying to get your heels as close to your butt as you can. Try to kick yourself in the butt. Keep the arms pumping. Keep everything moving here. Looking good. Let's go five seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, shake it out. Okay, so from here, let's do an alternating uh, lunge. Reach across the body. This is just kind of just a warm up stretch. Reach across the body nice and easy. And breathe. Looking good. Five seconds here, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Let's go feet apart. Squat it on down and up and down. Up. Loosening everything up. Rotating those joints. Let's go ahead and squat down and hold. Stick your elbows inside your knees. This is a real good hip stretch right here. So prime those hips. Let's get them ready to work. All right, put your hands on the ground. Nice and easy, come on up. We're just gonna try to get a stretch here in the back of the legs and the hamstrings. And if you can't lock out, spread your feet apart a little bit. Feel that stretch. And nice and easy, bring it on up. And let's shake it out, shake it out. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is 30 seconds on the clock, we're gonna go 30 seconds of a lower body movement, followed by 30 seconds of a cardio movement. Three moves, three cardio moves, three sets, three times around. And we're gonna have two circuits of this. So first one is gonna be body weight squats. Let's go feet about hip width apart, between hip width and shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out. 30 seconds, squat and begin. Down and up. It doesn't have to be crazy fast. Just smooth and steady. Try not to bounce. Try not to let your knees go over your toes. Down and up. And it won't take long before you start to feel a slight burning sensation. And things are working. Down and up. We're getting close, guys. Almost there. After this, we're going to go right into some mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. Okay, push up position. Let's we'll take it on down. Push up position. You're going to bring your, keep your touch over the hands. Ready, set, and go. Run it on out. Now I'm going to hop out here real quick. Melissa's well, gonna keep on moving. So you guys, when you're doing your mountain climbers, make sure that your chest is over the hands. Okay, so you get 90 degree angle here at the shoulder. And try to bring your knees all the way up into the chest. Run it out. You're working your cardio, and you're actually working your core as well. We're almost there, guys. Keep on moving. Looking good. We got about five seconds left on this one. Keep running. Keep running, keep running. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Good job. All right. Second move, alternating lunges. Hands on your hips. Here we go. You're gonna go forward, lunge, and lunge. Alternating lunge. You got it. We're just going for 30 seconds, guys. Nice and easy. Now this is one of those workouts where wherever you're at, if you happen to have access to some weights, maybe some hand weights, go for it. You know, it's always okay to overachieve. Do the best you can. Five seconds, guys. Here's five, four, three, Two, one, and break. Good job. Okay, so now you're gonna go into a prone jack. So drop down into a push-up position. And from here, you're gonna jack those feet. Just like that, okay? Ready, set, and go. 30 seconds on the clock, guys, as fast as you can. And as you're doing this, remember, again, you're trying to keep your chest over the hands. Jack your feet, set them apart as much as you can. And don't hold your breath. Keep breathing, guys, looking good. Keep it going. Nice and strong. You may start to feel a slight burning sensation. It's all good. It's a good kind of burn. Looking good, guys. Keep moving. 
You're almost there. Five seconds. Just five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, so let's go ahead and position our mats now. We're gonna go into a butt lift. You're gonna lay flat on your back. You have a mat, you have your mat. You're gonna lay flat on your back. Bring your heels in close to your butt. Hands by your side, relax your head down, and you're gonna drive your hips up and down and up and down. Ready, set, and go. Exhale up. You wanna squeeze your cheeks. Think of it like hot potato. So as soon as your butt touches the floor, you squeeze and go right back up. You don't wanna stay on the floor for too long. Keep on lifting up and down. Looking good here. Let's check out Melissa's form. Squeezing tight. You squeezing those cheeks? You feeling it? All right. So on top of feeling the glutes, you're also gonna work the hamstrings as well here. Nice and strong, five seconds, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Stand on up. Okay, so now you're gonna go to burpees. Best move on the planet. All you have to do, absolutely. You're gonna throw yourself out on the ground and pick yourself right back up. Do the best you can. Here we go, guys, 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, and go. Down, jump out, jump in, and up. So there's different ways to do your burpees. I'll demonstrate one here where I drop into a push-up all the way down and up. Okay, I'm dropping down. Looking good. You can also do down, step, 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 and stand if you're more of a beginner level. Keep on going. Whatever level you're at though, do the best you can and just keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew, good work, good work, good work. All right, so that's one round down, guys. One round down, we got 30 seconds of rest. We're gonna get ready for round two. Looking good, now this is a good time. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. And we'll get ready here. Round two is gonna bring us right back to those squats. Same thing, remember, if you have a clock on the floor, point your toes at about 10 and two. Eyes up, chest out, here we go. Ready, set, and begin. Down and up. Second round. Two out of three here, guys. Down and up. That's it, looking good. Getting a good squat. Sit down as low as you can. And remember, guys, if you're doing this one, if you happen to have any sort of knee issues, stay within the pain-free range of motion. So maybe your squat doesn't go all the way down like this. Maybe you only get maybe a half squat. That's okay, do the, do the best you can. Same within the range of motion that works for you. Cool. That's right, stick your, stick your butt out. Five seconds, just five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, let's drop back down to mountain climbers. Ready? Here we go, 30 seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, run it on. Remember, where's your chest? Keep your chest over the hands and bring those knees up into the chest. Looking good here. Arm is great. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. Mostly working hard. I know you guys are working hard at home too. Keep going. Come on, Jess, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Run, 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 run. Remember, this is not just cardio, but it's also working your core. It's a two for, two for one. Here's five, four, three, two, one, break. Good job, bring it on up. All right, alternating lunges. You can go hands on your hips. If you have some hand weights, grab some weights. Here it is, and go. Alternating lunge. Nice work here. Let's keep on moving. Now, another thing you guys can do on this lunge, for some people, it bothers, bothers their knees when they lunge forward, so you can lunge backward. Okay, so Melissa's gonna keep going. Keep going. And what you can do here is, for a lot of people, a lot of times, if it bothers knees, stepping backward actually will uh, remove that pain or minimize uh, any discomfort that you feel in your knees. Keep on going. Five, five, four, three, two, one, and break. That's right, so you, want, you don't want to let your knees go way over your toe. That's another good, good point. Okay, from here, let's drop down. Uh, push up position, prone jacks. Jacking your feet in five, four, three, two, one. Go, jack your feet. I'm gonna show you guys. If this is a move that doesn't work for you for whatever reason, you can take the impact out of it and just tap your feet out side to side. So maybe I'll be here and I'll just tap, 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 okay? It's a great way to still engage your core, still get your cardio up a little bit without all the impact of the front jacket that we're doing. We got about five seconds left in this one, guys. Keep moving, do the best you can. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, let's position our mats right back into the boat lift. Lay flat on your back. 
Flat on your back, guys. 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Lift. You want to squeeze your cheeks. Squeeze your cheeks. And remember, as soon as your butt touches the floor, lift it right back up. Think hot potato. Up and down. Keep on squeezing. Looking good. You feeling it? All right. I know we're starting to glisten nicely over here. Get a little bit sweaty. I hope you guys are too at home. Keep on moving. We got five seconds left on this one, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice job. Okay, let's go right back into the burpees. Throw yourself on the ground. Pick yourself back up. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Down, jump out, jump in, and up. And again, you can scale it down, doing a step like I'm doing here. Or you can be, if you're more advanced, add a push up to it. Go down, land low, pop up, and up. Whichever way challenges you the most. Do the best you can, guys. Five seconds is five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. Two down. Two down, guys. We're on a 30 second rest. One more to go. We're going to go right back into our squats. Last time. Last time on, our, uh, on this first circuit. Get ready to get ready, guys. Okay, we got five seconds on the clock right here. Ready? Here's five, four, three, two, and let's squat it out. Down and up. Down and up. Now, it's real important, don't forget to breathe. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Stay in the pain for your range of motion. Just think strong, happy thoughts. I know my legs are feeling strong, happy thoughts right now. I don't know about you guys. Looking good. Down and up. Keep breathing. We're coming up on five seconds here. Keep it going. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we're gonna drop down to mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, ready? Five seconds, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and go. Run it on out. Now, while Melissa's going, I'm gonna show you guys a little variation. You can do an angle mountain climber which is where you're going to bring your knee to your opposite elbow. So this is, if you guys don't want to mix it up a little bit, this involves your core. You got to get good trunk rotation. That's another little variation here on the mountain climber. We got five seconds, guys. Feel it now, feel it. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Woo! All right, looking good. Here we go, into the lunges. Hands on your hips. Alternating lunge, you guys, coming at you here in five, four, three, two, one, go. Lunge, and lunge. And remember, you can always lunge backward. Step backward if you have any kind of knee issues. Keep going, guys. Lunge and lunge. Getting buff. Good lower body workout here. Keep on going. We got five seconds right here, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, back down to the prone jacks. Prone jacks. Push up position. We're gonna jack our feet. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and go. Knock them out. Now, while Melissa's doing this version here, remember that if you need to scale it down, you can be in a push up position. You can just tap it out, right? That's one version that you can do. And if you want to increase or intensify this move and add a little bit more intensity to it, add a knee tuck to it. So you can go, you can go spread them together, jump in, jump out. Okay, that's going to raise the intensity up a whole lot more. Either way, whichever version you want to do is up to you. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice job, you guys. Okay, so let's move on. Last time on the boat lift. Flat on your back. Here we go. Five seconds on the clock, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, and go. Push. Drive your hips up and down. Now, a real key point to this move here, guys, is make sure that you keep your feet, uh, you keep your feet flat, but keep your heels in as close to your butt as you can. That'll allow you to get a nice range of motion um, on your hip raise. Okay. Now you can do some variations here, like most of do once you came up on the toes. That's one variation. Another variation would be to put her heels down and put her toes up. So if she had her feet out a little bit. Yep. So these are a couple little variations on this one. 
just to change it up. Five seconds, here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice work. Okay guys, last time on the burpees, then we're gonna take 30 seconds rest and we'll start our second circuit here to the super sweet lower body beat down. Here we go. Burpees in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Down, out, in, and up. And again, if you can, add that push up to it. It's gonna increase the intensity a little bit, or a lot of bit. Keep moving. We're almost there. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Keep going, guys. Five seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Handbrake. Good job, good job. All right. Okay, 30 seconds rest, guys. Whew. Catch your breath. This is a great time. Grab some water. Grab some water and get ready to get your sweat on here for round two. All right, guys, welcome back. Here comes the second part of this workout here today. The second circuit, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go drop down on all fours. Now, what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm just gonna coach you through this one because there's a lot of technique. So most of down on all fours. Um, make sure that you're at 90 degrees at the hips. Uh, to demonstrate first, she's gonna lift her right leg up. She's just gonna bring her knee up. From this position, she's gonna extend her leg out. And you're gonna try to kick like you're kicking toward your elbow. Okay, she's so gonna move, move the foot way over here. From there, bend the knee, bring the heel back to your butt, and then extend it back out. Okay, so there you go. So there's your kick. Now, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Now, she's gonna fatigue out, I would fatigue out. Everybody's, you know, unless you've been doing this for a while, you're gonna burn out in your butt cheek, which is totally normal. But do the best you can, take a breather, and then just jump back in. So we're gonna shoot for 30 seconds, extending that leg out. Then you're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Then you're gonna take that leg and you're gonna drop it down and up and down and up, okay? So we'll do some Supermans, then we'll do same thing on the other side. Then we'll do some uh, angle light top to see we'll, we'll demonstrate as we go. So here we go, 30 seconds on the clock. Hope you guys are ready. On your marks, lift that leg up, get set right here and go. So we're kicking out. I want you to aim for my hand, aim for my hand over here. There it is. Yep. So wherever your knee is pointing, guys, that's where your kick is gonna go. And you wanna point your toes. That's it. Nice and strong. Keep the leg up nice and high. Now, you should be feeling it right about here. Do you feel it? It's hurting. It's a good pain. Let your inner beast out. Five seconds, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Try to hold it. Hold it up if you can. Hold, hold, hold. This is a 15 second hold. Do the best you can. We'll try to fan it up there. You got it. Come on. Hold, hold, hold. Everything you got. Hold, hold. Here's five, four, three, two. Now you're going to go down and up. Touch and lift. And touch and lift. Again, this is tough, guys. This is tough. Again, do the best you can. Once you feel that burn, take a quick breather and just jump back in. Up and down, up and down. We got five seconds here. Here's five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job. Okay, from here, so see how she's sitting back? You're gonna wanna sit back. That's gonna give you a really good stretch in your butt cheek. That's awesome. Now, you're gonna go lay on your belly into a Superman position. So for Supermans, you're gonna be like, like you're skydiving. You're, flying. you're gonna lift up and down. You're gonna squeeze both butt cheeks. Squeeze all these muscles here in your back and your glutes and your hammies, all the muscles in the back. Squeeze them real tight, go up and down. Go ahead and go. Up and down, we go for 30 seconds here. Lifting up and down, up and down. And again, just like before, think of it like hot potato. As soon as you touch the ground, come right back up. Touch and lift, touch and lift. You got it guys, and don't hold your breath. You wanna keep on breathing. Looking good, we're almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, nice and strong. Nice and strong, we got about five seconds coming at you right here. Keep moving guys, here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Good work. Okay, so now go ahead and sit on back. Get ready, we're gonna attack the other side. So you're gonna lift your left leg up, and we're gonna extend and do that roundhouse kick. Ready, on your marks, get set, and go. So I want you to aim for my hand over here. So remember, wherever your knee points, guys, that's where your kick goes. You do the best you can. If you can't get 90 degrees, Moses modifies she's getting a little further out, so you do the best you can. As long as you're feeling it in your rear, in your glutes, you're in a good spot. Keep on going, guys, nice and strong. Remember here, at the end of 30 seconds, we're gonna try to hold that. Keep going. We got about five seconds here, we're gonna hold. Here's five, four, three, 
two, and hold, extend and hold. Hold, 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 this is a 15 second hold, guys. And again, do the best you can to bring that leg as far over as you can. Hold, don't let it fall, don't let it fall. Here's five, four, three, two, and drop. Do it down and up, down and lift. Down and lift, down and lift. Now, you might be feeling a slight burning sensation. It's all good though. Keep lifting, guys. Go, 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 go. Keep moving, keep moving. You got five seconds on this one. Here's five, four, three, two, and break. Good job, sit down back. Whew. Excellent work, feel that stretch. So now you're gonna go into a chopper, okay? So you're gonna go back up into that tabletop position where you're up on all fours. You're up on all fours. You're gonna lift your right leg straight back. You're gonna go straight back and you're gonna lift it way up here. Now you're gonna chop at a diagonal, down into 45. So you're gonna cut across the body, touch the floor, and bring it back up, okay? 30 seconds, on your marks, get set, and begin. Touch and lift, touch and lift. Squeeze, again, don't hold your breath, guys. You wanna make sure you're breathing. Get as good, as good of a range of motion as you can. You got it, nice and strong. Cutting across the body. Squeeze your butt cheeks real tight. Looking good. And make sure you bring that leg all the way back up to that original start position, all the way up. Yep, keep on going, we're almost there. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Five seconds here, guys, you're almost there. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Break, switch, other side. Leg is up, 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 up. Squeeze your cheek, ready, set, and go. Cut down to the floor. Keep chopping down at a 45 degree angle. That's it, try and take it, make it as wide of a movement as you can. To the bottom, to the top. That's it. Looking good. You got it, you got it. Is it burning? Should be burning, should be burning. Excellent, keep on going guys, keep on going. Nice and strong here. We got about five seconds coming at you here. Here's five, here's four, three, two, and break. Nice job, bring it on down. Okay, and we rest. Quick 30 second breather, and we'll get ready for round two. Back to the fire, or the, uh, at the fire hydrant, the roundhouse kick where you're down on all fours. So we're resting, catch your breath. This is a good time if you need to get a sip of water, grab a sip of water. Stretch things out. We'll get ready to get ready here. Okay guys, so for round two, we position ourselves in a little different angle here so you guys can check out the form. Uh, go ahead and lift that leg up. We're gonna start 30 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and go. Taking it out and in. Now, if you're starting to cramp up at all, or you start to feel a lot of like, uh, any kind of extra tightness or cramping here in the hip, you can adjust the angle if you can't quite get the 90, 90 degree angle here all the way over. So do the best you can and just feel that burn. Feel that burn and when you're bored at home, this is a great move to work on. Keep on going guys, we got about 10 seconds and don't hold your breath. Exhale as you kick, inhale on the way back. We're gonna end up holding it out there, slow and steady, slow and steady, knees up nice and high. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend and hold, 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 hold. This is a 15 second hold. So kind of lift that leg up. All you gotta do is hold, hold, hold. You can do it. Keep on breathing, guys. You got this. Keep holding. Five seconds. Five seconds. Come on. Here's five, four, three, two, and drop it down and lift and lift up and down, up and down, up and down. Your butt cheeks should be talking to you right about now. It's telling you, telling you you're strong and sexy. Come on. Lift, lift, lift. Five seconds, you got this, just five, four, three, two, and break. Good job. Okay, sit it on back, stretch it out. So by pushing back, you can use your hands to push back. It's gonna really help uh, push your heel, push your hips over your heels. You're gonna get a really good stretch in the glutes. Glutes, low backs, and shoulders there. All right, and now we're gonna go into a Superman. Superman position, so arms out. Right, remember, hot potato. Ready, on your marks, get set, and go. Up and down, up and down. That's it. As soon as you touch the floor, you go right back up. So touch the floor, pop back up. Touch and lift. Touch and lift. You got it, guys. Looking good. So when you're doing your Superman, squeeze your glutes. And you squeeze them. Squeeze them real tight. You're working all the muscles here of your back, the erector spinae muscles. You can see the glutes and your hamstrings. All right, guys. We're almost there. Keep on going. Looking good. We got about five seconds left here on this one. We're going to hit the other side. Here's five, four, three, two, and Great, nice job. All right, back up on all fours. Here we go, so now we're gonna work the other leg. All right, ready? On your marks, get set and extend. Out and in, out and in. Remember, wherever your knee points, that's where your kick is gonna go. We're trying to get 90 degrees. If you can't quite get it because your hips are tight, get whatever angle you can get. Do the best you can. I know you're gonna be feeling it. Nice and strong here, guys. We're already over halfway there. 
again, engage your core, engage your glutes, everything's working, don't forget to breathe. Exhale on the way out, inhale on the way back in. We're almost there guys, we got five seconds and we're gonna hold. Just five, four, three, two, one, hold, hold, hold. You got it, 15 second hold. We can do anything for 15 seconds, right guys? Come on, just squeeze and hold, squeeze and hold. You got it, we're totally almost there. Keep on squeezing, keep squeezing, lift, 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 don't let it drop, don't let it drop. Five, four, three, two, one, drop. Down and lift, up and down. 15 seconds, guys, that's all you gotta do, come on. We can do it, we can do it, you can do it. Up and down, lift, 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 that's it. Do the best you can, do the best you can. It should be burning, should be burning. Come on, here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice job, sit down and back. Okay, right away, let's go right back into, uh, let's extend the right leg straight back. You're up on all fours. Okay, and we're gonna cut across down to the 45. Ready, and go, 30 seconds. 30 seconds on the clock. And really get a good stretch on this one, guys, because across and lift, and down and lift. That's it, working those glutes. That's it. That's awesome, it's sweet like that. This is a double glute, two for one bonus exercise. Keep on going. Up and down, up and down, up and down. You got this, guys. We got about five seconds right here. Just five, four, three, two, one, and break. Okay, let's it out. Let's hit the other side right away. Here we go. Ready? Lift the leg up. Up, up, up. Let's way up here and go. Down and up. Cutting across, guys, at a 45 degree angle, like a chopper, light chopper. You got it. Cut across and lift. And down and up. Looking good here, guys. Looking good. That's awesome. So feel that, guys. Glutes, obliques, hammies, everything's working here, guys. You're almost there. We got about five seconds left on this one. Here's five, four, three, two, and break. Good job, 30 second rest. That's two down, we have one more to go. One more to go here, guys, one more to go. Now, make sure that you stretch. A super integral, important part of any workout is the stretching, because the more you stretch, the less sore you'll tend to be after. You're gonna be sore no matter what, but you won't be as sore than if you don't stretch at all. So make sure that you definitely include lots of stretching into your routine at the end of this and every workout that you do. All right guys, so here we go, get ready. We're coming up on the last round, round three. Here we go, roundhouse kick from a tabletop position. Leg up, get set, and go. 30 seconds, out and in. And again, where's your knee? You're trying to get 90 degrees here at the hip. Exhale, don't hold your breath. Exhale as you kick, inhale on the way back. Try to bring your heel back to your butt as much as you can. Looks great, keep on going. We're already way over halfway there. We have about 10 seconds left here. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. We're almost there, looking good. Five seconds right here, guys, keep going. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Extend and hold, hold, out to the side and hold. All you gotta do is hold, 15 seconds, lift, lift, hold, hold, be tight, be tight. We're almost there, guys. You can do it, you can do it. Go to your happy place, lift, lift, lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop, down and up, lift, down and up. And again, if you burn out, guys, it's okay. Take a quick breather and just jump back in. Do the best you can. This is just you versus you. Doing the best you can. Lift, up and down. You got it. You need to squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good job, sit back. Get a good stretch. We're gonna go right back into those Supermans. Five seconds here, guys. Get ready. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and go. Superman's up and down. So we're gonna go up and down, up and down. That's it. Remember, you're trying to squeeze. Squeeze your butt cheeks real tight. You're working all the muscles in your back. Squeeze the hammy, squeeze the calves, and lift. Keep on going. You got this, guys. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Remember, exhale on the way up. Inhale down. We're almost there. Looking good here, looking good, keep going. We've got about five seconds left on this one. It's five, four, three, two, and break, relax. Good job. Okay, let's get the other side. Other side, so we're gonna go into that tabletop position. Back is flat, let's lift the leg up. Roundhouse kick in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Extend, out and in. You got it here. Looking good, out and in. And again, guys, you're trying to bring your knee as close to 90 degrees as you can. That's it, wherever the knee points, that's where the kick goes. The knee points down, kick is going down. We're going to try to aim for right here. That's it. Looking good. 
Keep breathing, guys. Keep breathing. Things should be burning, right? Things are burning. Almost there, guys. Five seconds. It's five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Try to hold it on up. Hold it on up. Lift, lift, lift. Or cramp. Five seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five seconds, five seconds. It's five, four, three, two. And take it down and up. Down and up. Do the best you can, guys. Best you can. Down and up. Down and up. Keep lifting. Again, it's a great, simple, but very effective exercise. You can do anytime, anywhere. No equipment required. Five seconds, guys. Just five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job. Sit it on back. Stretch it out real quick. Now we're gonna go right back into the angle leg choppers. So we're just gonna go back into the tabletop position. Take a leg, extend it out, straight up, and cut across. Go. 30 seconds here, guys. And a good punch on your You're trying to cut across the body. Across the body. Down and up, down and up, down and up. That's it. So down and up and down and up. That's it, down. That's a good, good stretch. Looks good. Keep breathing, guys. Doing the best you can. We're totally almost there. Keep on breathing. We got another five seconds right here, guys. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Good job. Okay, let's hit the other side. Last one here. Ready? Down and up, and go. Down and up. 30 seconds here. You got it. Remember, you're trying to get a good angle, 45 degrees, putting it across the body. Touch the floor each time. Touch and touch. So aim for the floor, aim for the ceiling. Good. Just chopping through the air. That's it. Getting a good squeeze. We're already over halfway there. Looking good here, guys. Looking good. We're almost there. Almost there, almost there. We got about five seconds right here. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and break. Nice job. Sit back, switch it on out. Excellent job today. So make sure, right, since you're in this position, this is a great stretch you can do for your glutes and lower back and shoulders. Use your hands to push away. Shift your hips to one side. By shifting your hips to one side and pushing, you're gonna feel the stretch all in one cheek. Very good stretch there. And let's take it over to the other side. Now, outside of this video, guys, make sure you do a lot of stretching. It's really gonna help. Make sure you hydrate, and I'll see you all in the next video.